Hello, Diecast family. This is the most fair way I could think to do the giveaway. So, everybody who did the requirements and commented that they were done, this is your name on a the list. There's 36 people. So, I'll give you a minute to look at this. Remember your number. I tried copying down everybody's username the way they have it, with capitals or lower cases. So remember your number. I got this thing I can put the balls in. Not going to read off everybody's name. Not going to try and pronounce some of these. And uh, CJR12171, you were number nine. Number nine is not being used. So you are number 37. This uh, cheap Chinese ball set. They can't even put a line on under the 9. So the 9 and the 6 looked identical. There was no way to tell them apart. So we are not using the 9. So if you were number 9... CJR12171, you're now number 37. So we're going to go ahead and, and see where's ball number 30. Hold on. I just had, wait, 2930. There it is. Put it in the wrong spot. All right. There they are. All 37 of them minus number 9. I'm going to go ahead and put them in the machine. We'll spin it around and see which one comes out. Takes a minute to put them all in, so bear with me. We'll get them all in. Glad I only had 37 contestants. If I have any more than 37 for a giveaway, I'm definitely going to need a different ball machine. Or I'll have to use one of the computer generators, the number generators. Quicker than folding up a little piece of paper and putting in uh, a bucket, though, or a bowl. However, all them Instagrammers do their drawings. I haven't used this for quite a while since a previous giveaway. So I'm going to shake it up. Give everybody a good chance. Oh. Hold on. One fell out. There was a hole in the side to fill it up with. Just noticed. So shake it up real good. Let's see who the winner is. And then stick around after the video. And I'll show you some of these 3D things I painted up. That I got done so far. So. And the winner is. I lost it. Where'd it go? It looked like number 22. 
number 22. So let's look on the paper who number 22 was. You got to be kidding me. Radar 468. Wow, that's a very long time subscriber who comments to every single video. That is freaking amazing. Holy cow. Congratulations, Radar. I don't know if you've ever won a giveaway. And it's crazy that it was somebody I know. So, this is coming your way, Radar. Holy cow. That's crazy. Well, make sure you hit the subscribe button to get entered in more giveaways. I will be doing more of these giveaways. I'm almost to 3,000 subscribers. So, when I hit 3,000 subscribers, I want to do a big giveaway. Uh, my last giveaway, I think I had 27 entries. So, 37, I think I had... Well, no. How many did I have? Yeah, I think it might have been like 27 entries. So, congratulations, Radar. Uh, send me a... DM me on Instagram or something. So, I can get your winnings shipped out to you. And, uh, these were the skids. After I primered them, I just painted them a light brown color. And I kind of left it a little streaky. Because it kind of resembles wood, I guess, from a distance. I don't know. Really, really hard to paint all this little stuff. I got the little 3D printed creeper. Got it painted. Here's comparison to the green light creeper. Pretty comparable. We got this lift. This came in like one, two, three, four pieces. And I had to glue it all together. Seems like lifts come in a bunch of different colors. But the arms are almost always yellow. I think I saw a couple that were white. But they're almost always safety yellow. I think it turned out pretty good. Definitely looks good with a car on it. Then we got the little MIG welder. Of course, I had to paint it blue, make it look like a Miller. You could paint it red, make it look like a Lincoln, but I like the look of a Miller. I'm assuming it's a MIG welder, so I put an argon tank, which are usually brown. Then this looks more like a battery charger down here, but I painted it to look like, uh, I tried to make it resemble more like a uh, plasma cutter, but a plasma cutter, of course, be shaped a little different, be shorter and longer. I, I love this old plasma cutter, though. Probably because I've been a welder my entire life. And then, got the little cooler. I think it turned out pretty darn good. That will look nice on the top of any Jeep roof rack or anything like that. Absolutely crazy. 
definitely, definitely will pick up more of these. Could always use a cooler in the bed of a truck or somewhere. Just a simple red and white paint job makes it look like an egg glue. Of course, we got the dyno. Well, got this itty bitty. I would like to have more of these, but I think this came with uh, like a diorama. One of the little scenery sets I bought. But man, that thing was so hard to try to paint in detail. So, so small. My camera won't even focus on it. I mean, that's my finger now. So that shows you how little it is. A lot of people's favorite, the dyno, which I'm quite happy how the dyno turned out. Most of them I looked up were either blue or black. I didn't want to do black. Because uh, the drums were always black too. So I did it white. Or uh, I primered it white. And then painted it blue. Painted the fans white. Just to like break up the color. I feel like the steps would be painted white. With like uh, some kind of safety tape on them. I got to touch up that one still. So I tried to resemble safety tape. Then they had the detail, the conduit. So I went ahead and detailed it out. Then this stuff is so hard to set up. It's so small. Definitely need to get some long reach tweezers or something. Camera does not want to focus on this stuff either. It's so small. You got the tires. Which I'm happy with how this came out. Painting the skids a little darker just to look different than these ones. But I'm, I'm quite happy with how everything turned out. It takes quite a while to paint stuff like this and detail out stuff like this. I mean, you just really got to take your time, do one color at a time. Let it sit around and dry. Then do another color. So I got jack stands. I got one left I got to find and paint still, so... I know where it's at, it's just... Little gas cans. And then I might clear coat this stuff. I haven't clear coated nothing yet. But I think some things might benefit from being clear coated. Another little skid. These are just painted them a light brown, the darker brown band. It could be a leather strap or something that's holding it shut. It could be a crate put on an older vehicle or something. I don't know. Sometimes it can be quite hard trying to decide what to paint stuff. Like, the cooler is easy. That's a no-brainer. Even the MIG welder for me, that was a no-brainer for me. But then, like, the tires, no-brainer. Fire extinguisher, no-brainer. These are always, unless they're water and blue, they're almost always red. 
Uh, jack stands, wasn't sure what color paint them. The creeper, okay, went several ways with that. These barrels, you could go a ton of different ways with them. But I like the gloss black, just added like a little orange cap looking thing to it. We got that crate there. Started doing this boat. I don't know what color to do that yet. Not sure what the hell it's supposed to be. Primer the engine. Didn't get it started yet. Did do the bike. Except for I still got the wheel. Pretty much just a wheel on this side left to do. Maybe the brake light. So maybe a little bit more on this. A little bit more. It's mostly done. Just primer these, then I get around to painting. that lift yet so start on the lifts next the motor I probably will save it for a build I might make it work with this build I already started with a Silverado truck and I'm pretty sure I can make this work with the Chevy Silverado casting might try and make that motor work with it too so future videos to come so if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you do this bike just got one coat of the paint still got to do something with that hole on it and then it's kind of what it looks like after it's primered uh, these things are hard to primer because they're so light should have stuck them down with something tacky uh, because a spray can wants to blow them away. Even if you hold it back too far, then uh, the paint kind of will look chunky. Kind of like that. It's from holding the paint can back too far. So that's about it. Thought I'd show you guys that stuff. Thought we do the drawing for the giveaway. Thought it was a good time to do it. So congratulations, Radar. Make sure to send me a private message. Awesome, awesome freaking Ford Bronco. Eddie Bauer. All right, well, thanks for watching, and have an awesome rest of your Saturday.